so Jared just saw something on the road and he's, he's just trying to race it. Uh, there's a Supra right there. He got the early jump. Yep. Uh, We're about he, to pass him. We're he, about to. He saw us coming. Oh, he like, just got get by oh, school bus. School bus, hazard light, dude. You lost. <laughs> Welcome to the shop. I'm Jared and this is Wrench Every Day. We are here in Georgia and next to me is the incredibly stealthy covert vehicle some of you have noticed in the back of a couple videos here. And um, it's a school bus. I don't know much about it. My friends drove it on a long rally road trip and broke it and then dropped it off here and said, deal with it. We're gonna figure out what's wrong with it together because I don't know and you don't know and uh, it's fun. And when I say we, it's not just you and me in the video. I'm trying out a new camera guy. His name is Tavarish, I believe. Some of you maybe have heard about him. So say hi. What, what do you think of the bus now that you're uh, joined, joined with us? This thing is pretty cool. Uh, so I know nothing about buses, but I know that um, they're not supposed to look like this. They're not supposed to have blue wheels and they have a bunch of stickers. So this was on the Dust Ball Rally, correct? Yeah, it was the Dust Ball Houston to Buffalo Rally where uh, there's lots of mountain climbing. And I'm just, I'm not sure how well equipped this is for mountain climbing, but I the, did see it a few times. Was this actually meant for like climbing, like off-roading? No, no, I'm sorry. Um, road mountain passes on paved roads that's still a that's still a tall order for this i mean how <laughs> how much does this thing probably weigh it's like it's like 10 15 000 pounds uh, i think it's just under ten thousand because normally like vehicles like this have a fourteen thousand or so gross vehicle weight rating so well actually no so that's probably only two thousand pounds so yeah it might be twelve thousand pounds it is nice it's not a light girl um and it's limited to 70 miles an hour is that is that that's that can't possibly be true uh, Not on Dust Ball Rally. I don't know if it's, you know, look at it. It's a square. It, it is. Uh, it, it is square. That's a... Uh, wait, wait a second. I have that same sticker on my Lexus, and it's supposed to have a butt and some balls, and it, it looks like it's been castrated and de-anist, so... <laughs> Free Britney, guys. Uh, so... This let's, thing, like, let's just, let's just walk around and... and just take it in. Like, just breathe this thing in. Um, I do know, the one thing I do know is its air conditioner broke on the way to the start line. So that's what this was. Um, so they have, I mean, what do they have? <laughs> like a generator set they, up? Or? They bought a generator, ratcheted a generator, and this was the extension cord that went inside to a little bedroom air conditioner. Well, it goes in this little channel, which is, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's what it's made for. That It uh, has to be. convenient, and then it just jumped up here and that. You know what these actually are made for? What? It's so, in a bus crash, the firemen know where the floor is, mm -hmm. where the seat bases and seat tops are. And the people are somewhere scattered around this area. In there, yeah. Or, yeah. or if it's upside down, they're, they're on the top. That's that's interesting. Why don't all cars have this? Oh yeah, because you're not gonna yeah. die in a car crash right. usually. You're, you're seat belted in a car. Let's see what else. So we've got this. I don't. Oh wow, that is secure. That is uh, very secure. Well, you, dude, you know you know the rule. That's definitely going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> there we uh, go. Uh, a big fun attribute during uh rallies is people have their own stickers made and you kind of tag your friend's vehicles mm -hmm. um this oh it's it's a sport oh okay so i, I mean, mean it's been it's definitely going over 70 miles an hour yeah. now. <laughs> uh let's see and then it's just more school bus school bus on this side uh oh it's got the tribal speed flames okay so, so we know it's definitely faster than 70 maybe so I well now i don't know i don't know if it runs i don't know what they broke well i, I noticed something in the front what's that i noticed a few things in the front oh well one the mirrors they stand out well y yes yes but also uh oh, ready mm -hmm. oh that's mm -hmm. that's, that's that was a little out of tune let's try this one that's coming off all right ready mm -hmm. oh this this is the right town. That, Sound even, not town. There we go. 
<sighs> okay. Uh, we've got air ram uh, as it should be. Not that, functional. That's super functional. <laughs> I mean, I can see the hood underneath there, so that's... Uh, it okay. provides lift. Uh, yeah, the what's, hose. What's, uh, <laughs> what's this guy? So that is... Is that a garden sprayer? And it is... It is aimed at a transmission cooler. That looks woefully under... Wow. The, the transmission cooler is like that big. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a cute little transmission cooler. Is that, is that generally a problem for a 12,000 pound bus uh, with wall. a transmission cooler that's this big? Uh, yeah, I, I would say so considering um, my truck, even your truck, now granted you upgraded, have transmission coolers twice the size of like a Honda Civic radiator. Yeah. So that that's a problem, but what are, the, so that's a sprayer. And we've got the hose. Mm -hmm. we got a leaf. And I wonder if they cut that <laughs> or if, the, if it shrunk. Uh, well, it seems like, first of all, first of all, <laughs> what is it? T take a look at this. So what they did from the factory is likely they just had a van body uh, and they had like an extended frame and just like the, the window, like the windshield and a door and then they just plopped a fiberglass structure around it and then they glued it on. Yeah. Cause this looks like a, this looks like something you see at a church. Like this needs to have some stained glass on it. Right. That, that would work. Or, or uh, some other just character. We could put like a Chucky doll staring through. Act that, that wouldn't be a, wouldn't that be a would bad really idea. mess with some poor kids going down the road. So, and if we look, yeah, it is connected to a garden sprayer. Okay. So, um, there's a. Does that does that not open? Wait, it is a bus. Here, one second. Let me try something. Stay there. Okay. Stay there. There is a control panel through this window. Have fun at school, kids. Oh, oh. there we go. My chariot awaits. And there's a. That's a handrail. There's that's a, a that's a safety rail. That's not a handrail. No, it definitely is. This is a rail for. Uh, it's a safety handrail. See, grab hold. Come on in. That's uh, I feel I need hand sanitizer <laughs> after that. See, this is how you uh, do the fancy acrobatics. Oh, that with that the bearing's not looking. Yeah, right. I think I think they installed it a little bent. I, I think if uh, if the dance isn't good enough, they just fly right out of here. <laughs> uh, okay, so. so okay, so there is a squirter. We do have a control panel, but hey, there is a lot of room in here. How there, did this get here, Freddy? What are, you, what are you talking about? Right here. Look. What is? Is that our new merch? It's some of our new merch. Look oh at that. my lord! Look at Look, that. You guys are our sponsors by watching and buying merch, so we wanted to make it official. And we've got these awesome key tags, wrench every day. And uh, since your vehicles are probably a lot like Johnny, it is a questionable choice. So let everyone know. So go check that out in the link in the video description. Uh, every single shirt sale and every single sale on our bunker branding page goes towards our projects and uh, us doing stuff like this. Yeah, and paying bills. And if you notice this, it's popped up a couple times. We brought back the roadside assistance shirt. It will not be safety orange. That is unique to those 300 special orders, the guys who got it, but you will be able to go ahead and get roadside assistance in this new design because it was too awesome to not have come back. Well, I kind of feel bad that I'm not uh, representing Wrench Every Day as, yeah. as best as I can, except for the fact that I am. Woo! I got the new shirt. You definitely need one as well. Uh, so, but let's go back to this. Okay, uh, yeah, this let's uh, finish the tour. So as you can see, the uh, you can't because this is falling down. Let's get mm -hmm. that back up. The The seats have been upgraded. I, I do think this is a little more comfortable for a trip. What's uh, what's this actually from? Like, it, I, this looks like it's from some sort of van. Yeah, some... Man, but it's got fold-out feet and everything. Like, I wonder if it... It's got like, some fold-out mold, too. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, can't be perfect. But if these fold out, I mean, you can't, you're just kicking whoever's coming in. Well, I think if you look closely, there, there are also beds that it's no longer just a school bus. It is now it's a, a homeless shelter. It's an RV. It's a homeless shelter. Listen, do, well, no. Do people actually it, sleep here? Like how many people can sleep here? Well, I mean, these are almost like kings. So two, four, 
That looks six okay. if you get comfortable. Okay, so this looks like extremely flimsy. You can't have anybody with act any actual weight up here. Oh, let's try. I have some actual weight. There is a lot of. So there's lots of pranks and interesting things that happen on a rally, <laughs> and uh, we're full of pranks and interesting things. Party uh, balls. I guess. All right. Let's see. Okay. Well, uh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, don't hit the bumps really hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, you know what those are? No, they, they look like, uh, I don't know. Tribbles. Trib what is that? Really? Star Trek? The original one, Tribbles? These little furry things start taking over, and then they completely take over the entire Starship Enterprise? Hi. They're into the machinery, all right. I think we lost, like, 70% of our audience. Tyler will be disappointed in you. I, I don't watch Star Trek. Um, I don't know what that is, but that looks like it might have inappropriate uses. Okay, so, okay, yeah, so that's so that's, that's a, cool. Um, we have a bad... All right. Oh, TV. There is a TV up there. Oh, there is. So, I mean, it's well-equipped to sleep in and ride, but, again, I don't know what they broke. All I know is it kind of limped into Buffalo and then showed up here and they're like, Hey, can we fix this? Cause we want to do another road trip. I can't take anything you're saying seriously with you in that position. What? It is hilarious. What about, is this one better? I, I can't quite get this one. There How we about go. we try to see if it starts? <laughs> How about we try to see if see it starts on is, our, see what is broken. We try to do some car stuff on our car show. No, I listen, people came for that pose. They, they came for car stuff, but they stayed for the pose. Mm-hmm. There we go. Graceful. Oh, there's some Red Bull left, some coffee, some water. I don't know how. That's all <clears throat> probably not expired. There. That's good. Oh, wait. One more thing. The alarm's going to sound. Wait. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh -oh. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, 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 uh. All right, well, I know one thing they broke. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of awkward to get back in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a good sound. No. All right. Oh, on. you know why that sound's going? The roof. Oh, <laughs> good. All right. Well, it started. It said, "Oh, trip A, five hundred and eighty-one." We're gonna need to do something about that sound. What sound? Now we're all about questionable choices, but I know this bus is broken. That something is wrong with it, and it's idling really well right now. Um, it would be good to have some information on how it's running, but. I don't have a scan tool here. What is it? Is that today's sponsor, Carly, the connected car diagnostic tool? Yes, it is. Fantastic. <laughs> it's almost like we planned this. <laughs> so let's take a look at this pretty interesting, very useful app. So we have our current car, which is a Ford E-Series, a 2005. It's a diesel. And we have our health, your diagnose and clear problems. This is just a snapshot of how your car is doing. If it has any issues, if it has any trouble codes, this is gonna tell you right away. What we're interested in is live data. Now let's just take a look at the health and uh, let's check for issues. So our diagnostics are completed. Was I wrong? <laughs> that that face tells me. <laughs> it is very bad. <laughs> very bad. It is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have oh, our uh, PCM, uh, ABS, instrument cluster, and the restraint control module. So the SRS is probably going to be unhappy because, uh, well, I mean, there's it's, it's a little bit modified. I have one. No, there's an airbag there, too. What's that for? Um, your that fan. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see what issues are here. Um, exhaust pressure control valve high input. Well, that's not good because that means it's taking, I think on this, too much effort to move the turbo. Yes. On the variable vane. So that's not good. 
Nope, that's not good. Uh, that is not good. Because that means you have to pull the turbo. Although I wonder, this has the dog box. I wonder if it's easier to get to. Maybe. Because normally you have to crawl in from the front, but there's nothing, nothing. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't get to the engine right there. That's, that's essentially the hood. Uh, so we have our ABS anti-lock. So this is a P0000 uh, system pass. So that's that's okay. that's not a trouble. It says not serious. So these three are not serious. Okay. Uh, one is uh, react immediately. It says ignition key in circuit fault. Ignition key in circuit fault? Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's a B1352. We're just going to ignore that. Well, do you uh, know the other good thing with most vehicles in Carly is you can click on that code and it takes you to more information and explains it because I don't have a clue what that oh means. Oh my goodness, that's true. Yeah, right there. Okay. Click. And then I think there's another click to take you to the internet if it doesn't have. That's enough. exactly where I am. I'm yeah. on the internet. Wow. The right. internet? How do you get on it? <laughs> it's a series of tubes. Um, then we have a not serious instrument cluster is not configured correctly. Run the programmable module installation option. Is this? Does this have not true mileage? What's the mileage on this? Uh, it has. It says 142,740.8. That might not be the right cluster for it. Who knows? Okay. You, you know, low mileage school buses are collectible items. So they, they are. They're on. All on the bring a trailer. They're setting uh, all the records. So we have a speed sensor circuit right front. Um, so that's broken. And then we have a system pass, uh, which is not serious. It's not a thing. So our powertrain, that, that turbo thing could actually be a, a problem. Yeah, that, that could be a problem. So maybe that's what they broke, trying to uh, climb one of those mountain passes. It got really, really hot. And then all the, inside a six, this has a six liter power stroke and it has a variable vane turbo. It looks like a bunch of little airplane wings. And if you get it really hot, it does kind of like what the Nissan Titan did and it go broke. Are you sure that they didn't have a five liter Cummins in this? I, I'm pretty sure because it didn't exist. Because in I feel like going because I feel like going over a mountain pass and having some turbo issues seems like a very common thing. It does sound very familiar, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> so how about you pull up some live data and now that we know it has very serious problems that need immediate attention, yeah. take it for a drive. Yes. Yeah. Let's do live data and let's do our powertrain control module right. and uh See jared huh? jared please be please be careful i i have there's there's nothing you, you holding have, me from going straight through that windshield you do have a seat belt but it's to a seat that's bolted to wood <laughs> oh boy all right now so now we're on the road I tell you what there there's a bit of nvh in here yeah noise vibration and harshness um the handling is not precise so you're trying to tell me that the handling is, uh, it's not, it's not Lotus-like? No. Let me just say, at 3,000 RPM all the time? Are you, you might be in... No, nope, I will try. <laughs> Come oh. on, bus. What did they do to you? Those, those RPMs are a little high. Should ship, all right. For going, you're, you're doing 45 miles an hour. It should not be at nearly 3,000 RPM. All right, what, what, what is the temperature kind of starting to look like? Because uh, she should not be singing this much. Uh, trans temp or, uh, or engine, engine coolant temp is 55 degrees Celsius. Uh, you start running into problems at around 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. Oh, we finally found another gear. Oh, you got the gear. You got, you got fourth. She wanders a little bit. It's like you have to drive it like they do in TV. Just <laughs> you like that? All right, we're driving. We're not actually steering. I think this is probably the fastest a school bus has gone through here. Definitely North Georgia. They don't uh, drive them fast here. All right, let's see how the, this handles. All right. Um, Oh. <laughs> it, is, it is everything I predicted the school bus to be. Uh huh. Terrible, but wonderful because it is so terrible. I feel incredibly unsafe right now. <laughs> Why? Is it because if you hit any object, even with your seatbelt, you're going right through it? I'm probably going to hit the stripper pole before I do that. 
Oh, so that way you kick me on your way out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. This so our engine oil temperature is at 73.4 C, which is okay. Uh, you generally want that around 100, uh, something like that. A little bit more if you're really kind of tracking the thing like Jared's doing. Oh, yeah, going up the hill. She's uh, struggling a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's loading up a bit. I'm having to ask a lot of it. I can't believe that they drove this across the country in a rally. Mm -hmm. Like, hats off to you guys. Yep. But you broke it. Because I feel like that turbo just isn't working. It's just stuck, not spooling like it should. What about the suspension? Like, the, what about it? How vague it feels? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the steering. The suspension, the ride quality, at least in the front, isn't terrible. How does it feel back there? It's a, it's a, it's a little, it's a little floaty, and uh, it's really kind of, it, it's making, making all sorts of noises. I, I will say, I feel like the steering wheel is connected directly to the tires, but the left and right tire are connected with a wet piece of spaghetti. Yeah. There is, uh... It takes a while to get into that last gear. I know, it, it works. So Jared is currently doing more than 70 miles an hour, which is... Proves those stickers are a lie. I don't know, because uh, these, these doors are making a little bit of squeaking noise. I think 70 miles an hour is all they got in them. Ah! I'm a little scared. I think it's going to suck me out the side of the bus. <laughs> I will say, I am noticing the transmission needle go up a little bit. Do you want to try to deploy their secret weapon again? Ooh, the wind. <laughs> Against it there? Uh, yeah, sure. Here, yeah, just, uh, yeah, pass that to me. Ah, there you go. Yeah. So, let's... Right, keep pumping. Am I helping? Uh, <laughs> it's going back down. <laughs> that, that's genius. Whoever came up with that idea is an absolute genius. I don't. I don't think so. I think this probably leaves uh, some engineering to be desired here. No, it, it works. Like you didn't. We didn't have to stop or slow down or cool anything off. You just keep pumping. This, this may get tiresome after <laughs> after a while. Well, they did have four guys in here, so I guess they all just took times uh, turns stroking the pump. So our engine oil temperature is at 101.2 C, which is about 210, something like that, Fahrenheit. Which is not terrible, but it's not ideal for just cruising like this. Yeah. So we're back down to 70, and if we're already hitting oil temperature that high, so... We need to figure out something with the cooling. Yeah, it just, it makes sense. This is a giant brick trying to go down the road like it never was meant to do. So the 6.0 power stroke, its oil cooler lives in the middle of the engine valley. Like it's surrounded by the engine block. It has coolant that goes through it, but it, again, well, just because it's cool bus doesn't mean we're slow, buddy. Um, <laughs> okay, we are slow. I can't make that five mile an hour back. <laughs> but, um, it, it, it lives in an area that it gets really, really, really hot. And we already saw how small that trans cooler is. So, um, so this is not made for high speed canyon carving like the, the rally would have it do. So this needs help with uh, cooling, right? Yeah, cooling, um, power. That turbo is not doing its job. So we're going to have to figure out turbo. We're going to have to... Lots of cooling work because eventually you're gonna have to stop and get water. <laughs> so engine oil temp is at 103 C, so it's still climbing. Oh. So we need to we need to figure out something with that engine oil temp. But you guys definitely should download the Carly app, and it comes with a OBD2 adapter that we have over there in that cool little box. Go check it out in the link in the video description below. And it doesn't only do live data and OBD2 scanning. 
And also, if you have a Audi or a BMW or some Lexuses, they do coding, which means that you can actually make your car do things that it didn't have in the factory. So things like you can make it flash twice when you press the hazard switch. You can make it have uh, just little creature comforts that are really nice and you can code them yourself without having to go to the dealer. So that is really, really cool. Go check all of that out in a link in the video description below. Thank you so much to Carly for sponsoring this episode. So Jared just saw something on the road and he's, he's just trying to race it. Uh, there's a Supra right there. He got the early jump. Yep. Uh, We're about he, to pass him. We're about to. He saw us coming. Oh, he like, just got get by oh, the school bus. School bus, hazard light, dude. You lost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready for brake check? Uh, okay. Oh, oh! Well, what was that? Everything. That was. We, um, just, we just cleared the bed. Yeah, I just got. I just got strangled by the. <laughs> by All right, the so thing. brakes work. That's. Oh, oh! Hey, this is not a bad turning radius. Oh my goodness! All right, come on, bus power. Quick pump! I can't, I, I can't reach! I can't reach! I can't! Come on, bus! Don't let the Freightliner hit us! There we go. What I want to know is... Oh. What does everyone that see this thing think? I, I, don't, I don't know. This is not... Normal. This is not my most dignified moment, to be honest. Alright, let's get back to the shop and... Uh, Close this thing out. So, uh, how's that smell? It's, uh, it smells a little hot, to be honest. Yeah. Well, we know this works. Yeah, so it definitely does sprink sprinkle. You've got enough pressure that it's still going. Good, good. That um, means I did my job. Yeah, you, you pumped well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it did get warm, though. You, you can smell the oil. Yeah. It's, uh, she's a little, little unhappy. Uh, so... Oil cooler. Yep, the Trans oil cooler, cooler, but not not a factory style oil cooler. Let's get the no. oil cooler out. Like an, like an external one that you can put like. Yeah, I mean, you could honestly put it on the bumper like they do on the Japanese drift style. You could cut a hole here. <gasps> no, we can cut a hole here and put it, make it functional. Oh my God, the the world is your oyster. Yeah, you, that's the beauty with customizing things. You do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm and then sure. get made fun of. I'm not surprised it's hurt because we didn't drive it as hard as they drove it, and they drove it like three thousand miles. Yeah, so uh, that that's definitely. I mean, it's a, it's a school bus. It's a school. So it's no, not. It's, it's, a, not, it's a rally bus. It's a. It, you put a sticker on it, and it changes its okay. whole purpose. <laughs> All right. So uh, there's some work ahead, and uh, hope you guys will tune in for this build. <laughs> I think it's going to be a fun one, and uh, I can't right. wait to see it because I'm leaving. Yeah, we are, uh, we're we're off to car trek, and then I will come home, and uh, you can work on a school bus. I, I'm enlisting help. The guys who dropped it off, I, they're having to come help fix it. Okay. So uh, that that is that is very fair. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna so have tell to, them to clean up inside. It's like, yeah, it it's, needs to. I need to order a dumpster. Or two. I, I think so. <laughs> Get it ready for its next adventure. So um, okay. So until but, next time, this is uh, me, Tavarsh, and. Uh, it's eh, awkward. Me, Jared, reminding you to always make questionable choices, choices and and and, and uh, drive school buses real hard until they break. <laughs>